All right, Homesteader family. So it's been a long day. The sun's going to be a little disruptive uh, in the camera because it's late afternoon, early evening. I've been working all day, working on getting the fence taken down, getting everything set up. So let me get on over here. Here's all the hay. I've got to get, still get this trailer unloaded. You can see it's all fluffed everywhere because the goats, the dogs, everybody has fun playing in it, which you see plenty of videos coming up, especially of the dogs having fun. And uh, so here we go. This is the end of the pen that I was talking about. I had fenced it off and I went ahead, took this whole line out, uh, pulled all the T-posts already, got all the panels pulled out. Did the same on the front section where the pile of sticks are. I've been pulling all the sticks out of the way. And I got all the panels done over here where the T-posts are. I've just got to come through and pull all the T-posts. But I don't quite want to get the T-posts pulled until I can get a string line up uh, going from there all the way across. So I can go ahead and put in the 7-foot T-posts for the 6-foot no-climb horse fence. And then I've been working on getting all the panels down by the pond. And uh, I got the big posts put in over here for the gate. I got one of the gates already hung. And then as soon as I can get rest of the sticks pulled out and everything else, then I'll go ahead and start getting all the stuff here in the front pulled behind where the gates are going to be. And uh, this gate's going to go on this post. I've got my... Uh, Six foot no climb horse fence sitting over there that I'll go ahead and run down this line all the way up over the hill as the fence line. And of course the goats are out hanging about. But anyhow, I'm getting a lot of work done and this is one of my tasks that I had on my to-do list for 2018 was getting the gates up. So hopefully in the next day or two I should have the gates done. I need to let the post uh, set up before I can go ahead and hang the other gate on it. And then I'll go ahead and get a chain. I'll get a padlock and everything else. And you can see the gates go back and forth easily. Just one little push. Now, the gates are higher than the ground. But what I'm looking at doing is I'm going to take a cattle panel and strap cattle panels to the fence and then put the no climb horse fence on top of that going across. So that way the cattle panel will go to the ground and the no climb horse fence will keep many from being able to climb over the gates. So it's just little by little trying to get everything done. Uh, the animals have lost part of their pen. But this will give this section of the pen time to start to regrow and let the uh, feces and urine break down into the soil and the plants absorb some of that. And then hopefully by winter up on the other side, I want to be able to have a larger pen for the animals before winter because I don't think I'm going to fence in all the way around the pond this year. I'm just going to bump their pen out 100 feet out onto the hillside where my finger is and that way they have access to the trees and stuff so i'm going to get back to work i'll talk to you guys later have a good day